lovely humans welcome to starlight and stitches thank you so much for joining me here today if you have been here before and you're coming back really appreciate it and i hope you've remembered to subscribe if you are new welcome to alice land i'm alice and here in alice land we like to talk about yarny stuff crochet we do crochet book reviews yarn hauls end of the month finished project videos we do lots of different sort of crafty lovely goodness so if you think that's something you might enjoy hit subscribe join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best and this is our lovely happy positive place here on the internet guys it's the first of the month it's not the first of the month it's the first video of the month so you know what that means we are going to have a look at all my crochet projects that i finished last month so we're looking at the month of october Month of October was a bit of a funny one for me. Now, you guys don't know this because I had lots of videos scheduled, um, but I had pre-recorded quite a few videos and I managed to schedule them and I thought, oh, I'll give myself a little little break for a couple of weeks. I can just chill out. Um, I ended up, I got COVID last month, um, so I was quite poorly and I was off work for a few days. Um, bad chest, wasn't fun. I'm all right now though, happy days. And actually, a few of my subscribers have also told me that they have been suffering this month as well. So there's a lot of it going around, so just be careful because... It's that time of year, everything's going back round again and that's not a fun thing to have. So I had that. Um, I also had um, somebody that I know who passed away and we had their funeral and basically October has not been the best month. However, when I looked at my little notebook, my little list of everything that I made, I was pleasantly surprised that I actually had something to show you this month. So we're going to get into it. The first thing that I made this month it's not the best thing I've ever made. I'm going to be honest. I made something for my nephew and it's not big enough. <laughs> and I could have made it bigger, but I just went, nah, just go with it. So I made this little monster hat for my nephew, Harry. And it's just kind of a wear this for Halloween kind of thing. Um, so he's not going to wear it again. Doesn't matter. Um, but it needed to be longer. So bless him. It like sits on his head like that. But he still looks cute. Of course. Um... I found this online. I'll link it down below. I can't remember where it was from, but I will find it again and I'll link it down below for the pattern. And it was free. Um, we love our free pattern. And it was really easy to make. It was a brilliantly simple pattern to follow. And they do do them in different sizes as well. So that was the first thing I made was the little monster hat for my nephew, Harry. Um, and I think he looks cute in it, even if it is too small for him. I've had terrible brain fog this month. So there's a couple of projects that maybe aren't to my best work. After I made the hat, um, my daughter's friend's birthday happened, so uh, she is obsessed with the cat Pusheen. So I made this Pusheen cat. Um, the pattern was free, it was from Lovecrafts. The pattern on Lovecrafts um, actually has the cat holding an ice cream, but I didn't want to do that, so I made an envelope instead. I crocheted an envelope and I put a fiver in it. So she got her pushing and her little five pound note in the envelope. And then that was my daughter's friend's birthday present. The pattern was, again, easy to follow. Um, and yeah, her friend loved it. And it's unique. It's not something that I bought from the shop. I was a bit worried because I was like, oh God, is her friend going to think this is like really naff? But no, she loved it. Um, so I'm very, very happy about that. Like I say, the pattern was free. Um, and I suppose if you know how to make different things, you could have the cat holding whatever you like. So very pleased with the Pusheen cat. The next thing I made um, is this. I, a little while ago, in a couple of videos back, can't remember, it's all a blur, um, I got that lovely cottonish yarn that I've been wanting to try for a while. And I wanted to make something special that I could keep. So I found a lovely pattern again for free online i can't remember the name but i will link it down below it's something like the lavender chair i'll link it down below so you know where to find it they've got loads of free patterns on there really really lovely stuff and i found a blanket so it's one of these ones i've never done one of these before where like you bake the blanket but it's got like the holes in and that makes the pattern for you now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this properly, but I have got photos as well. So this is like the border that goes around the edge, which is very nice. And then the actual main pattern in the blanket, I don't know if you can see that, it's a unicorn. It's really difficult to show on camera. Hopefully in these pictures, you will be able to see it a little bit better. So this um, lovely little blanket has already been pinched by my daughter um, and she takes it to bed every night. So it's yeah I'm really really pleased with it actually it came out lovely the pattern was it's well written so it's easy enough to follow and for the my first time making something like this 
happy days. Um, the yarn, the cottonish yarn, oh, it's so nice to work with. I love it and it feels lovely. Um, and the colours, I mean, those colours are just beautiful. So I am so, so, so happy with how this looks. Um, and I'm also very, very pleased that my daughter literally takes it to bed with her. Uh, happy days. What did I make after that? Oh yeah, oh, I found a very cute pattern. And then and again, another free pattern on YouTube. I found this and it was an otter pattern. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's got a wonky mouth, okay? I made this when I had COVID, so I, I don't know what I've done wrong, but he's got a wonky mouth, but it's a little otter. Do, 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 do. Hello, um, I've named it Ollie because I name every creature and monster in my house. They all have names. Uh, so this is Ollie the Otter. He's got a little flower. Um, the pattern, which again will be linked down below, um, had the Otter holding a piece of kelp, but I wanted a flower. So I made a little flower for him to hold. Um, I had given him oversized eyes and a wonky mouth. I Just, just, I don't know what's going on but I used some yarn again that I got in a mystery box and it was quite chunky stuff and I had some in like a burgundy colour and some in a pinky colour and I wasn't sure what to make with it and I asked people for suggestions and people were saying lots of different things and somebody said a squirrel so initially I was going to make a squirrel um, but then I found this otter pattern <laughs> it was really easy to follow um, nice clear instructions and this did not take me long to make at all. I mean, you can see it didn't take me long to make. I mean, look at the state of it. But the pattern itself is a nice otter pattern. And he's going to go and float down the river. And off he goes. Happy days. Right, where am I? I'm completely lost. I've got my notebook. Um, I've still got a fuzzy brain. This month has just been a complete write-off. After the otter, I wanted to make something special for my mum. Um, I'm really, really lucky. My mum lives very close to me. In fact, I can see her house from my window. Amazing. She literally lives around the corner. My mum is 72 years old and she still does so much for me. So she provides me with some childcare while I am at work, which is amazing. She cooks me dinner every week. Um, I usually spend my Saturday nights round at my mum's house, just me and her, and we have a couple of drinks, and we have some food, and we watch Strictly Come Dancing. My mum and I are very, very close. She does a lot for me that she doesn't have to do because she is retired, and bless her heart, she gets worn out, but she still does a lot for me. So I wanted to make her something to say thank you. Her favourite animal is a horse, um, and her favourite colour is like this midnight blue sort of colour. So I thought, how about I make a horse with a blue mane and tail? So it's her favourite animal and her favourite colour. It was a bit bonkers, but I didn't have a horse pattern. However, I did find a pattern for a unicorn that would be suitable. And that was in um, Unicorns, Dragons and More or something book. This one. It was in this book. So there was a unicorn pattern in there and I thought... Unicorn is just a horse with a uh, yeah horse with a horn. So I scrapped the horn from the pattern, made the rest of it, and I got a horse. So this is the horse that I made for my mum. Mum has named her Hetty, and she absolutely loves her, which I'm so pleased about. Um, Hetty sits in my mum's living room, so when I go round now, um, I can see it, and um, yeah, mum appreciates it. It's a really nice sized horse as well. I did use my Stylecraft Special Chunky for that, um, whereas the pattern itself calls for. A, a thinner yarn but you know me I like a chunky yarn I like a big bold chunky yarn and my Stylecraft special chunky is my favorite to use for big bold projects I don't know what this is um yeah so that's Hetty the horse after the Hetty the horse it's that time of the year and I thought I better do something I made a little pumpkin um as everyone has last month. Um, I haven't actually made a pumpkin before. So this is the first pumpkin I made. This pattern is from Kawaii Crochet, I think. Um, it's actually very interesting, this pattern. It calls for every row or every round is done in a back loop only. I don't know if you can see that. So it kind of creates these little ridges. But then with those ridges, you thread through behind and then you pull it really tight and then that's how you get your your segments of your pumpkin so it was quite cool actually it was um yeah pretty 
interesting way of doing it and of course if you are not keen on the little faces you just do your pumpkin without a face and then you've still got a little pumpkin that's really cute and again that did not take me long at all for this one i used hayfield bonus chunky in orange and that is stylecraft special chunky so little pumpkin was done i have done my halloween duties we love halloween in our house by the way absolutely love it i just don't often make stuff that's specific to that season because it's over so quickly anyway what's next on my list oh yeah okay so i went on like a little random one where i just wanted to do some easy things so i've made some kitchen slash bathroom things um and i've posted them on my facebook already um it's like things that people can buy really nice easy simple projects so a lot a lot some of these i found via a post that was done by Little John's Yarns, or Little John Yarns, can't remember which way around, where the S is. But she did um, a video a couple of days ago, maybe a week or so ago, um, dishcloth ideas and that kind of thing. So in her video, there is a link down below that takes you to her blog, which then takes you to where you can find all these patterns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link you to her video so that then she still gets the, the traffic because it's her stuff that I got it from so the first thing that I made was a pot holder Ta -da! and I'd done, I, I'd done it I'd done it <laughs> I did it in the star which is really really nice now the reason this is a pot holder is because I've done this a bit thicker okay but you could do this with thinner and have it as a face cloth or if you wanted to make it a bit bigger dish cloth that sort of thing so using a cotton yarn um it just means that it's more suitable for those kind of things you can wash them on hot washes and that kind of thing the yarn that i used was um some of the infinity hearts rose yarn that i've got i've got a massive stash of it along there still that i got loads of from rito hobby um and i've still got a lot of this stuff but it's a nice cotton yarn let me show you it's a nice cotton yarn and i've got it in hundreds of different colors for this one i used a three strand so basically three of that um, and it made it a lot thicker so that it's better for holding hot things. That's the star. I then made just a regular rectangle face cloth to wash your face in the bathroom. And then I made a dish cloth and I used two different colour strands together. So this is a little bigger than the face cloth, but that came out really cool. I just randomly grabbed two colours and put them together. Dish cloth. Then I made some little face scrubbies. I just did a few of those in different colours. Do, do, do. And they're for like taking makeup off and stuff. And if you, yeah, so you don't have to use cotton pads. You can wash these and it's better for the environment because you can stick them in the wash with your normal wash load and you're not throwing loads and loads of cotton pads in the bin. So, look, I mean, that's easy, isn't it? It's just circles until you get to your desired size. And then the last one, and this is my favourite, because I was gifted by lovely Kathleen a little while ago. She made some of these for me and my daughter and I thought they were just adorable. Um, face cloth, again, in a flower shape. You can make these bigger. I made them a little on the smaller side because this is for Abigail, not for me, because I've got a big face and she's got a little face. Um, but my friend Kathleen made some flower face cloths for me and Abigail a little while ago and sent them to me. Um, as part of a lovely box that she made up for us and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful so when I saw the pattern for it I was like yes amazing I found it so that again I found via Alicia's blog so I will link you to I'll link you I'll just link you to the blog page as opposed to the video because then she still gets you know the the traffic so that's like kitchen and bathroom wear so I made a few of those things I think was that the last thing I made yes it was now now before you go i've done some more squares for the fair and square initiative i've done another 16 squares um to go with the 15 that i made last month these colors are a bit more muted um because i thought they might need something a bit more sensible to go with the crazy ones that i made last month and then the last thing i want to show you is my scrap blanket that i've been making this year i just tried before i videoed to lay this out on the floor to show you and I can't fit it on the floor so I've had to lay it over my bed I have done 
I've now done 103 rows of this scrap blanket. I absolutely love this blanket, but it's massive. Um, end of last month, I had done 68. So well, it's 78, 88, 98. Uh -huh. So I've done 35 rows this month. It's been really easy to do this blanket this month. Can do it watching a movie with Abigail. Don't have to think about it. It's easy. But I am in love with my blanket. Literally just using up my scrap ends of yarn. <laughs> And it's my favourite. I just it's really heavy as well, so it's gonna do me some solid favours this winter. Um I have shown you now everything that I have made this month. I would like to know what your favourite thing is, and I would also like to know what you've been making this month. What have you been making this month? Um I expect to hear about lots of pumpkins and lots of ghosties and ghoulies, um, and also some other interesting things that I might not expect. Has anyone started yet on their Christmas makes? I haven't and I probably should so that's everything that I have made this month it's been a weird month hopefully November is a bit more normal November is really busy for me it's my daughter's birthday and I've got lots of other birthdays this month in the family so it's gonna be a busy month anyway we'll see how I get on won't we this time next month we'll see what I come up with let me know which was your favorite and let me know what you've been making Look after yourselves. Look after your loved ones. I am going to have some tea because I keep talking and my mouth is dry. I love you all. Have a great week. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>